Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 2 of our Confederate Let's Play using the GMP mod. We are on to the Battle of Newport News, and you can see our army is pretty small. We're only allowed to bring 4 brigades to this battle, so I just added one infantry brigade led by Colonel Doles. They do have 1841 Mississippis, mainly because I had a thousand in the armory, so it was actually kind of the cheapest option here. Um, Otherwise, I, I boosted everybody up to about 1,500 men. I think that's a good starting point for the army. Later on, I would love uh, love brigades to start at about 2,000 men. Just have to think about how many men I'll have going into the first battle of Bull Run, and then more importantly, Shiloh after that. As far as the points, we did end up going four in politics and two in logistics. I think that's a good starting point for a campaign. Politics gets you more money, better more rep, better rep buys, things like that. Economy also seems really, really good in the GMP mod, and uh, I do like Reconnaissance too. I, I Reconnaissance seems really good because I'm a loot goblin and I like I like loot. So this is the army going into the battle, um, checking out the Battle of Newport News. We can gain just shy of $5,600, 3,400 men, and four reputations. So they've definitely decreased the amount of reputation you can gain in battles, but it seems like the rep buys are also less less reputation and you get more guns. I think um, in, in the reputation buy or government rule, whatever you want to call it, I think it was like five reputation for just shy of 2,500 mississippis so we'll probably do that when we go to the battle of first bull run i i think that's a good buy from everything i read just using your reputation to buy weapons seems like a really good idea and maybe if a major general or something shows up then that's also a good purchase because they're really expensive in this mod. anyways diving on into the battle of newport news we're allowed those four brigades as i said we do have some guys on the battlefield too, which is quite nice. Um, the enemy has 13,818 soldiers going into this battle, whereas we have 9,943, so about a four, four and a half, uh, no, it's just shy of 4,000 soldier difference, and they have 12 more guns in us. So Battle of Newport News, 15th of June, 1861, the Union is aggressively attempting to secure areas in Virginia. Their armies are occupying Several towns before the local militia can take up arms against them. The rebellion needs your assistance to defend a small town near Newport News. The Federals are approaching from multiple directions with superior forces. You must lead a portion of your troops and the local militia to repel the intruders. On the battlefield, sir, it was very brave of you to refuse Lincoln's call to arms and join the Confederacy's cause. The Union is trying desperately to convince the locals not to secede and is attempting an investment of Virginia with military forces. That kind of comes across that. You're supposed to be Robert E. Lee or something like that in the war. Um, at least that sentence there kind of makes it seem that way, which would make sense because in Ultimate General American Revolution, you're kind of playing like as uh, George Washington. So it makes sense in this where you're representing the overall commander of the Western or sorry, Eastern forces of the Confederacy. Moving on to this part of the battlefield, numerous Union infantry is or are approaching our town from three directions, northwest, dot, dot, dot and then north, dot, 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 and then northeast, so that makes sense there. And then it is vital to protect the town and show the Yankees that we are not going to leave our lands, lands undefended. The incoming Union forces are too strong, we cannot stop them, only delay them, so it is advised to deploy skirmishers and advance north of the town to buy time for our reinforcements. I don't really know if marching north is a good idea, there's not a lot of cover to, to cover ourselves with, and the enemy is coming from all directions. I do like the idea of moving skirmishers up up over there, especially because we have Mr. Jeb Stewart leading some cavalry over there. Our cavalry scouts have returned from the reconnaissance mission and will assist your efforts. Thank you for that. The Virginia local militia has been called up. We will receive infantry and artillery to counterattack. Until then, hold your ground, General. On the battlefield, I'm going to send some skirmishers out to try and delay the enemy, and then we're going to hold the town. There's a lot of men in this battle, um, and hopefully we can pick um, pick them off. I think the enemy has, what, like a 4,000 man advantage, and our reinforcements don't come in for an hour. So the, the 
the ultimate general games really like the, to do that to you where the the difficulty is like sure you might have relatively similar numbers in the overall scheme of things but early on in the battles you're you're badly outnumbered or placed into awkward positions things like that so we're going to move back see if we can hold the town and see if we can uh well, like hold the enemy back long enough to to take the town so there's a there's a couple skirmishers over there we could have probably taken those with cavalry early on if our cavalry was in position but they were not so we'll, we'll just hope for something else to show up i would love to be able and be able to take out some of their artillery so there's there's an artillery brigade right there uh too bad it's uh <laughs> sticking with its troops they must know that we have cav out and about our cav is hidden and i do have men over here but i don't know these guys look like they might be might be in for some trouble to be honest so i i think we might we might do some scouting with these skirmishers that might be a plan and see what we can see out here because sick breed skirmishers well they're uh they're definitely in some trouble right now that is that is definitely for sure Okay, so there's a lot more stuff that we can see over here. I wonder, we could probably, probably get some rear shots on some guys. I wonder if there's anything else over here that we could possibly mess around with. I, I would just, I would love to grab the artillery. I don't think we will get the option to hit the artillery, but that is definitely something I would love to, to take out, so... No, looks like they are they're wise to what we're doing. I can't believe they actually got a hit off that far away. That seems really far away to be able to do that. Uh, these guys are not doing well. So let's, let's get them get them out of there. Move you guys around. They're not doing the greatest either. Yeah, this, this gets you guys out of there because you guys are wavering. Let's move you guys back. Well, I'm pressing fall back. They don't want to fall back. So, alright. I'll take the rear hits because the fallback key's not working. And then immediately go wavering because they didn't want to fall back. Alright. That's rather unfortunate. Um, so over here, we'll just we'll just lure them in. I don't like how close you are. Let's shift back just a little. And then let's start moving you guys back to the line. Actually, uh, I would love to see what else is over there. That'd be fantastic. Because if I can isolate some skirmishers, that would be, that would be absolutely amazing. Fortunately, I can't see crap. That's a, that's a big old regiment over there, so that's probably not possible. I don't get why that's... I can't see right there. It's a feature of many uh, Ultimate General games, unfortunately, is like the line of sight sometimes is a little bit rough. It's like they're, they're right in front of us, why can't I see them? But we are delaying the enemy nicely with this. I kind of like this delaying action over here. Oh man, those cannons are just, like, in the best place possible for us to attack. I just need to make sure there's nothing... You guys could hit that. And these guys could come in and hit, hit that. Man, that would be... That would be so good. Did we just sneak through? Oh man... I don't know, they're... Now they're... Now they're turning, wavering... Alright, get out of there! Get out of there! Out, 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 out! Man, I am telling them to get out. It's not like Total War where they, uh... <laughs> will actually get out. Oh, they surrendered. Perfect. Get out of there! Come on! What are you guys doing? 
Uh, well, they'll get them back because they're not moving. That was, that was excellent, though. You guys need to get out of there. That artillery will probably, probably surrender back to the enemy, but I think, uh, that was pretty good in terms of causing damage. Maybe they won't. So Harrison, 1st Brigade, Harrison, 2nd Brigade. I wonder if that's the duplication that Pandacrat was talking about happens with the mod. Why are these guys moving so slow? It's interesting how slow they they go nowadays. Alright, they're, um, they're wavering a little bit too much for my liking. But if we can get these guys out of here... That would be fantastic. Okay, they're... They're just going to struggle now. Let's see if we can get you guys out of there. Let's see if we can get Stuart out of there. This feels good over here. And then if you guys could just route off of the battlefield, that would be perfect. Alright, you guys need to get out of there. Get out of there, please. And then you guys are running across the, the river, I'll, I'll hit you with my skirmishing cab. Uh, that didn't work quite how I wanted it to. That actually worked out really well. I hope, I hope we can end the enemies in the river, which is perfect. Okay, Stuart is still taking some casualties. Emperor skirmishers are doing great, but at the same time, uh, I know the enemy, yeah, see, the enemy comes from that direction, and I don't, I don't want to deal with that at the moment. Come on guys, get back across the river. I did, uh, change the config speed from 5 to 4. Uh, 5 felt a little too fast, didn't feel like the base speed, I could be very wrong. But I, I changed it from 5 to 4, so maybe that speed will feel a little bit better. So here we go. You did your best, General, to hold the Yankees. Our reinforcements arrived. Teach them a lesson. Cavalry and supplies are on the way. Hopefully our troops get there in time. Uh, there's a mass charge, which I did in the config files turn off like the the spam charging, but it looks like just the AI is programmed to charge anyways. I, I really dislike the the complete and utter mass charges though. It's not it's not my favorite mechanic, but we are going to counter charge with our our cavalry, see if we can break them. That is that is the plan. And it looks like it is kind of working. As long as our guys don't... See, our guys are starting to waver. Okay, get out of there, Stuart. Get out of there. Get out of there. That is one problem. Like, getting your guys to, to do what you are telling them is sometimes impossible. Okay, you guys need to... No, now the enemy's charging again. I really dislike the chain charging. It is, it is a mechanic I... I really much, very, very much do not like. No, that is not the way to retreat out of there. Okay, they are broken. They are wavering. Hopefully, hopefully that is kind of like the chain charging done. I would very much like it to be, to be done, because man, I am not a, I am not a fan. Of, of the chain charges, and that's why I turned it turned it off. Um, I, I really hate the argument, like, historically speaking, blah, 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 blah. But in the Civil War, there's just not as many charges as people people make it out to be. Okay, you guys do not... No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I hate this part of the game. Okay, whatever. Please, please turn around in time to where you don't take... Blinking fire. This is going to be nasty over here, and the artillery is just not 
getting up in time, they really, really slowed down artillery. And here's more chain charging. I, this is this is not. I, I do not like chain charging in this game. I do not think it is a very good tactic. But the, that's how the AI wins. It very much feels like. So we're just going to shove our cavalry into here. Get them out of there. Come on, Quicksilver. You guys need to rejoin your parent unit. Would help if our artillery was in place, but they're not. All right, you guys need to need to charge in again. They're wavering. Um, one of the problems is this this mod made it to where being charged is devastating for your morale, and really it should be the charger gets devastated morale wise. That's just my my thought process. Um, it just makes the it just makes charging way, way too powerful. And it wasn't. Like, that's not how... How it worked in the game. Or in, in history. And as I said, I don't like using the historically speaking argument all the time, but the fact that they're charging in again, they should be on a timer. It doesn't seem like the AI is on a timer, which is another unfortunate part of this game. I just... It very much feels like <laughs> feels like they're not on the same same constraints as us. So they need to charge in. You guys need to need to get up here so we can properly properly hit them. You guys need to not show your flank to the enemy because the enemy. Yeah, see, as soon as you show your flank to the enemy, the enemy is like insanely good at hitting your flank. No, please stop turning. Stuart's Cavalry, I don't know if they're going to make it, but hopefully that sort of broke the enemy's desire to chain charge. That being said, uh, I don't know. Um, we, we badly need to hit these guys. Hopefully things are going to look a little bit better. Uh, supplies are coming, bring them more ammo. What do you mean supplies are coming? Okay, here's more... more cav. That's perfect. I wonder... Can this cav... oh, no, no. Okay. What can you guys do? Can you guys hit those skirmishers? Because that would be great. Why are you guys shooting at something to the side? And then supplies. Supplies are necessary, so let's... Let's get Stuart over here. Uh, Johnston is doing a good job over here. Need Quicksilver. Johnston seems like a much better general than Quicksilver. Um, that I guess that's fine. Oh man, they're, they immediately turn to shoot the cab. That's rather unfortunate. We'll probably use the cab for any counter charges if necessary. Uh, see if the see if the Union gets a little bit frisky with that. Otherwise, I think we did well at fending off the the, cal the enemy charges. And I would like to point out, just because I turned off the, the spam charge ability, I think in the config files it's something like, if an AI unit charges, AI units around it charge, the AI still charges like crazy, so I don't feel like I'm ruining the experience. I, I also want to mention that I still want to have fun. I'm not looking for this crazy, ridiculous experience. I want to play this mod because it has a lot of features that the base game are missing, and I like the perks way more. This unit looks like it's charging. So let's, let's make sure we have guys to punish a charge, and uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to charge into them with Jennifer. Uh, maybe not. Okay, get back. Oh man, they're like the Scots Greys or something. It's like <laughs> you, you try to get them to to not go all the way across the map, but it seems a little seems a little difficult. Okay, Nathan Evans is wounded. Thankfully, that's not one of ours. That's 
I mean, it's not fine, but it's a lot better than it would be. Okay, supplies are finally here. That's perfect. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy, to be honest, this battle. Uh, it's pretty awesome, though. I will say, I do... I do like how this battle has turned out. The enemy tried really hard to to push through, and we have we have pushed back basically all of their charges, which is good because man does the does the AI love 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 to charge. So I would like to hit this skirmisher unit and hopefully. Oh man, there's multiple skirmishers over there. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. So that's going to be a lot of a lot of hits on our cav, but hopefully I think we destroyed all of those guys. That's that's perfect. And then they're they're taking rear shots. We are taking rear shots too. I don't want to go through the the river. That kind of worked. It cleared up a lot of those pesky skirmishers. Can you guys hit them while they're in the rear? The enemy is so good at changing targets, so it'd be nice if if we could change targets just like them. So you can see lots of wavering. A lot of our guys are fresh, which is well, they're exhausted. They're exhausted, very tired. So I, I shouldn't say a lot of uh, our guys are fresh, but there's you know some some of our guys are more fresh than I would I would think they should be. You guys are at a very strange angle. Can you... Can you turn properly? And I would love to pounce on that enemy artillery. And I kind of... Kind of want to try. Kind of want to get around their lines. I don't know where the rest of their... Oh, their, their cav is in the middle there. That's interesting. Our, our artillery there are doing a fantastic job. Over here, these guys are wavering. I don't know how much more Quicksilver can provide to them. I mean, Johnston's got the entire battlefield in his uh, in his aura. Feels like these guys are not in range. Can they can they move up just a little? Does that put them in range? That's good. Um, can you guys maybe go across the across the river? I'm worried about this flank. These guys are about to break. Man, if we could if we could collapse a flank though, the center just disappeared. So that's good. These guys really really aren't looking good. They're wavering. That's I mean if I'm looking at this right, there's not much left to this flank, and if we can take out that artillery, that would be fantastic. If we can get across the river, that would be great. Wavering units, confident units. Yeah, just just getting to that artillery would be great. And I think... I think we can charge them before they can get a shot off on us. If those guys want to turn around, that's a big mistake on their part. So I think I think we just kind of shored up, shored that up, and then oh man, they just chain. Wow. Okay, that was big. So let's try. Can't really see where our unit ends. I think. I think that's good. And then uh, one of you needs to come around this way, and one of you needs to come help this flank, because this flank is in dire straits. Get out of there. You guys need to move over here, really. This is perfect. Keep crashing their flank. So I think we've basically won. Oh. I, w I wanted to kill them some more. I guess it's, uh, what is that? 8.30 at night? Yeah, so that's fine. So we caused 7,107 casualties for infantry. Captured 389, killed 530 cav. We took 2,450 infantry casualties, 269 cav casualties. 
So we did pretty well. I thought they outnumbered us by a lot more than that. The initial numbers made it look like they had a lot more than that. Well, yes, uh, I mean, that's 1,638. So that would be, what, 12,500, 12, and 13,600. Oh, yes, that, that's about right. Wow. Hopefully my math wasn't terrible right there. So as far as units, um, let's see who did great. Well, Siegfried, wow, Grover on the enemy side did absolutely amazing. But otherwise, we did really well. Our artillery didn't do uh, that well, but uh, Jennifer with its cook and brother did great. Stuart did fantastic. Yeah, so some pretty good kill to death ratios. Nathan Evans has said, I don't think he's ours. And then goods, let's see. I like that rescued number. That's really good. How many casualties did we take? 24, 50. So let's see. The captured number's not, not great on this battle. So more of that 10% for the capture rate as opposed to um, when you actually capture the enemy, you get a lot more. But the rescued numbers look a lot better than what I'm used to. So I like that. I like that a lot. That's... That's really good to see. It's 389 prisoners exchanged for 389 additional recruits, not too shabby, and there's our career points, reputation, all of that jazz. So we lost a gun from Cable. These guys got beat up a little. Doles, oh man, you guys didn't make it to one star? That's interesting. How many how many guys did you kill? Only 832. Two to one kill ratio. Not shabby. Um, 273 more in the armory, so that's not bad either. So, as I was saying, the first battle of Bull Run, I think we're allowed to take 8 brigades. So I definitely plan to fill all 8 brigades. And are we the first force? Eesh. That's, that's kind of gross. Uh, this battle's interesting. It's not really telling you that the Union do like a wide sweeping maneuver. Most of the fighting really occurs... Uh, up on this part there's a stony bridge over here and there's um was it there's a, a farmhouse up here and a, a lot of the battle actually occurs over here um quite quite fun little battle we have a lot of men going into this battle that help us out so should be like jackson yeah beauregard is ja uh oh jackson why does it say what is this? What is this? Is this infantry or skirmishers? Kind of looks like uh, skirmishers or cav or something. Jackson at this point I believe was just a brigade commander I'm pretty sure and then eventually he becomes division, corps, and uh, yeah I mean nothing higher than corps but and then he uh, dies and then E.P. Hill basically takes over his corps so pretty I mean it's divided out so it's not like exactly the same core because stonewall brigade i think goes to a different core but but i think that is enough for this episode we'll call it here so please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz let me know what you think about this campaign if you have any ideas for unit names i, I greatly appreciate those place them in the comment below if you want to join my discord i should put up a thread in there asking for unit names keep in mind we're going for southern themed names so some of my ideas off the top of my head are like based on SEC names or based on real Southern regiments. We could even call them just after Southern state names, um, like Southern hospitality, comfort food. I don't know. Nothing like dumb when I say comfort food, but uh, it, it would, I, I just, the idea that it's a Southern army versus the Union campaign I had, you know, um, a very like, U.S. North Yankee sounding names, kind of like World War One and World War Two unit names, and then names like Lincoln and um, Freedom. What was it like? Patriots, th things like that. Um, and then, of course, I think there are state names and city names and, and others like that. So same same sort of concept for the South. That's uh, if you guys offer up a name, try to keep it like some sort of Southern themed name i guess is the best way to put it but that is it for today's episode as always guys until next time